Um, I have the difficult and very hard task today of going around all the fun here, Treasure Island, the carnival, and I'm going to be giving you guys a look at all the fun that's going on out there. But Rudy and Barbie, I'll go ahead and send it back over to y'all. This, this would not be possible without the incredible organization, the months and months of planning that go into making Buck Days a success. Uh, we've got Commission Chair Jonathan McCombs here. You have been with the Buck Days Commission for how long? Uh, I've been with the Buck Commission probably 18, 20 years. I, I, I kind of quit counting, you know, it, it keeps adding up. And the tradition continues with Buck Days. Since 1938, this Correct. has been an event. Correct. Let's talk about the history. So when Buck Days began back in 1938, it was basically you guys uh, and a, a group of business individuals getting together to promote a festival to celebrate Corpus. And since then, it has evolved from uh, a scholarship pageant that used to be handed out and whoever won got a trip to Disney World to where now we're actually handing out scholarships. This year, we're going to hand out $80,000 uh, to a bunch of very, very deserving uh, kids uh, to help them go to college. And it's a, it's a game changer for them and some of their families. That This might be the first time they've ever been to college. So my Jonathan, for, for you yourself, you, be, you just mentioned that you've been a part of this for 18 years. Why did you decide to be a part of Buck Days? Why is it so important to you? You know, I can remember as a, as a kid growing up and uh, being a part, being in the rodeo and helping out then before I was even part of Buck Days and in the back of there, uh, going to the carnival and, and, go, and seeing all that. And once you kind of get involved with it, you see who it benefits and helps. And so it's a way to give back to the community that, that has supported so many uh, good individuals. And what better way to give back to the community than to put on these events once a year that bring us together not only as corpus christians and south texans but as a community as a whole because we celebrate one community one correct. culture correct correct we're all here together and we all need to play by rules and, and and get along with each other and this is a way to bring everybody together in so many different events and, and just to help out and give back to a community that gives so much to everybody else absolutely the you tradition know, continues and every single year i feel like it's it gets bigger and better i know that for a while there the things were just so different due to the pandemic but last night going through that parade i felt that just like i did when i was in high school i mean that energy all those people we got first place first on place, our yes, show. Guys, yes congratulations isn't that awesome Congratulations, congratulations. Yeah, yes. I know a lot goes into this, yes. right? Yes, for sure. So it's very special. We're going to treasure right. this, of course. Good, good. But, you know, the participation of the community, when it comes from the bands to all the different clubs and organizations, they are what make the Buck Days Parade. Correct, correct. I mean, it's all the individuals coming, sitting on the sidelines or coming down the parade route. Everybody's involved in some aspect, and so it's it's a, it's just fun. It's a way to just celebrate, and everybody's, you know, it's it's just a good time. Your favorite part of Buck Days when you were a child, a kid, your favorite memory, and what's your favorite now? You know, I mean, obviously as a kid, going to the carnival, um, eat, eating popcorn and cotton candy and doing all the rides, that's obviously something that was fun. Going to the rodeo as a little one was fun. I think the best part now is, um, you know, giving out the money, giving out the scholarships. I can remember the first time I handed a check to, to an individual uh, back when we used to have it at Buccaneer Stadium. Right. And, and I'm glad the cameras weren't real close because I, I would have been crying. You know, it, yeah. it, it meant so much to me to be able to all this work all year long, you know, go into that and then they send them to college. And it's it's huge. It's huge. It, it, it that's that's my best part. And we're is. going to meet some of the recipients here this morning. And another, I know that another favorite of yours has to be being part of the Mingle Live today. <laughs> this, this is a huge <laughs> aspect. Thank you all for coming out and supporting Channel 3 as they support us and Domingo Live. So thank you all, Barbara, Rudy, and, and for all that you all do. Well, we're going to be talking more with Jonathan a little bit later in the show because we want to talk about how we can get young people involved with the Correct. Buck Commission. Correct. How can you become a buck raider? How can you volunteer for perhaps next year or Correct. in the coming years? Correct. There is a lot you can do to give back to your community and right. you can do it through the Buck Commission. As Correct. Well. Correct. Always looking for more volunteers. So, so we have a list that just sign up. Absolutely. We'll be talking about that a little bit later when we meet up with Jonathan.